it's not promotional furniture by any stretch. It's even like I'd call it upper mid price for the most part, but it's uh, but you talked about it's a value value oriented. So tell me a little bit about that. When I when I look at some of the sofas for three or four thousand dollars, why is that a good affordable price? I mean, we try to offer a good value for what it is. It's, it's definitely we're not going promotional. That's uh, it's hard to get promotional with with the high style, and we we try to offer a very high style for a reasonable price. It's it's definitely not the cheapest like you said. Three, four thousand dollars for a sofa is is not inexpensive. There are definitely more expensive options out there as well. Um, but ranging the styles uh, and buying how we do, we feel like we offer a pretty good selection of, you know, anywhere from modern rustic to farmhouse to to industrial to all those kind of things. We kind of spread this this the gamut of different styles where it still is a reasonable price. I mean, I know there's, if you want to spend $10,000 on a dining table, it's out there. I'm not, we're not trying to be that, but uh, what we offer is a, is a lot of, is a lot of look, is a lot of comfort, is a lot of, a lot of function for not a lot of money. Uh, furniture, they're, they're, I mean, you can go from as cheap as you want to get to, to as high end as you want to get to. We've trying to find that sweet middle spot where not a lot of people are, are, are in this in this realm of pricing and style and value. If I can interject too, uh, a lot of stores and a lot of uh, retailers in the industry are always concerned, well, how can I cut a corner? How can I get this to be a better price point? Where if I could quote a good friend of mine, Stacy in uh, Cedar Park, uh, Texas, we're looking, well, if I can get this for this price at $100, what can I get for $150? I want to push and, and promote a, a value so rather than cutting corners you know the little extras it may be not to the open eye uh, there but we try to get a better value in what the factory can do we know you can do cheap what about doing something with a little better quality okay and we've talked about the, but the, we've talked about this before the furniture industry doesn't seem to head that direction and what's the what is their problem there we our industry I have to be nice our industry kind of holds down the consumer what really is available and out there and it's so price driven where we don't try to be priced as more value um, you could have bought a sofa in the 50s you would have paid more in the 50s than you can buy a sofa today and, and that's just the factories cutting it down the retailer thinking that we have to get the most uh, consumers through the store by price and I, I disagree with that well thank you both for having All me right. I really appreciate it